Good day everyone and welcome to our mathematics class. Before we start our lesson, let's have first a review about the greatest common factor. Who among you knows what the greatest common factor is? Yes, when we say greatest common factor, it is the greatest number that is a factor of two or more terms. Let's try the given drill. You will give the GCF of the terms given. The first one is 5 and 25. Can you think of a number that you can divide both 5 and 25? Yes, that is 5. So the greatest common factor of 5 and 25 is 5. The next one is 21 and 49. And the greatest common factor is 7. And the last example would be x squared and x to the fifth power. Can you think of the greatest common factor of the terms? Yes, it is x squared. So now, let's proceed to our lesson. Our lesson for today is all about the greatest common monomial factor. And I will give you the steps to factor a polynomial whose terms have a common monomial factor. The first step is find the greatest common factor of the numerical coefficients. Number two, find the variable with the least exponent that appears in each term of the polynomial. Step number three, divide the polynomial by the factor found in step one and two. The quotient is the other factor. And the last step would be, express the polynomial as the product of the two factors. Let's proceed with our first example. Factor 3x plus 6. The first thing that you need to do is to check for the numerical coefficients of the polynomial. And the numerical coefficients are 3 and 6. Then, check if they have the same variable. Do they have the same variable? None. So let's proceed to the GCMF. The greatest common factor of 3 and 6 would be 3 because we can divide 3 and 6 by 3 then divide 3x plus 6 by 3 to get the remaining factor 3x plus 6 divided by 3 would be x plus 2 and the factored form 3x plus 6 is 3 quantity x plus 2 for our next example, we have y squared plus y cubed. So let's check if they have numerical coefficients. The numerical coefficients of y squared plus y cubed is 1. Then, check if they have the same variable. Do they have the same variable? Yes, and that is y. If they have the same variable, pick the least exponent that appears in each term of the polynomial. And the least exponent we have is 2. So the GCMF of y squared plus y cubed is y squared. So what would be the remaining factor? If we will divide y squared plus y cubed to y squared, the answer would be 1 plus y. And the factored form is y squared quantity 1 plus y. For our activity, you need to complete the table and give the common monomial factor, the remaining factor in the factored form. Number 1 is done for you. So we have 2x plus 10, and the common monomial factor of 2x plus 10 is 2. 
How about the remaining factor? The remaining factor will be 2x divided by 2 is x and 10 divided by 2 is 5. Therefore, the remaining factor is x plus 5. So what is the factored form? The factored form would be 2 quantity x plus 5.